today so that we can work on learning more about our sight words. That's right. We are learning all about our sight words. Now remind me, help me remember, what is a sight word? Very good. That's right. A sight word is a word that we practice over and over and over again. And why do we practice it so much? Very good. It's because we want to memorize it. We want to learn it so well that we memorize it. That means that we don't have to think about it. We don't have to sound it out. We just know when we see this word, we know it because we've practiced it so many times. We've looked at it so many times. We know it without having to think about it because we have memorized it. Very good. Now before we learn a new word together today, let's get our wiggles out. Show me your wiggling fingers. Very good. And now shake your arms. And roll your neck. And now we're ready to begin. Today, we are going to be learning about our sight word for. This is our sight word for. Can you say that with me? This is our sight word for. Very good. I'm going to put it on our board so we can focus on it and learn a little bit more about it together. Now, when we are learning a new word and we want to learn how to spell it by putting our letters together, what do we have to do? We have to listen for our syllables. That's right. And our syllables are our sound building blocks. That's right. So I'm going to clap out our word for, and I want you to help me count how many times I clap, okay? Because that will tell us how many syllables, how many sound building blocks are in our word Four. All right, here we go. Four. How many times did I clap? Very good. One time. And what does that mean about our word four? That's right. That means there is one syllable, one sound building block in our word four. Awesome job. Okay, we know it has one syllable. Let's get ready to stretch out that sound and slow down and stretch out that sound so that we can hear all of the letters that are going into our word so we can spell it together. All right, let's see. F or F or F F. What is that first sound we are hearing the F F F sound? That's right, that is our F sound. Very good. All right, let's keep going and see what happens at the end of our word. All right? F, or, or, or. What is happening there? That is not exactly like any of the alphabet that I've heard. That's because our or sound it has something special going on. Let's look up here real quick. Our word for is F-O-R. And something special happens when you have a vowel with a R. The R makes the vowel say a different sound. That's kind of cool. Sometimes you'll hear it called the bossy R because the R is saying, nope, you're not going to say what you usually say. You're going to say this instead. So instead of saying F, Ah, rr. Our R makes our O say F, or. And that's how we get our word for. F, O, R. Can you spell it with me? 
Here we go. F O R. Very good. All right. We have used our ears to listen and think about our word for our one syllable word for to stretch out those sounds and hear all of the different letter sounds that go into making our word for. And we learned about our bossy R that changes how the vowels sound when we put them together with the R. Now, I think we are ready to use our eyes to look and see what else we can learn. Don't you? All right, let's see if we can take our word for that we just learned how to spell and put it on our writing line. I think we can do this. You ready? Here we go. We said it starts with an F. Is this an uppercase or a lowercase F? Very good. That is a lowercase F. And our letters always start at the top. But let's look at our lowercase F. Is it a tall letter or is it a short letter? That's right, it's a tall letter. So where am I going to start on our writing line for our lowercase tall letter F? Very good, I'm gonna start up at the top of our writing line just like this. We're gonna hook around and down and then we go back up to our dotted line to put our little line in the middle to make our lowercase letter F. And we said, so that is our f sound. And we said our or, or sound. We get that by make, putting the O and the R together. Now our O is a tall letter or a short letter? It's a short letter. So where is it going to start? Very good. It's going to start at our dotted red writing line, just like this. And to get that or sound, we have to have an O and an R. That's right. Now, is our R a tall letter or a short letter? It's a short letter, which means it's going to start where? At our dotted red writing line. That's right. Very good. Just like this. Awesome job. All right. Now let's look at the shape of our word. We talked about the shape of our letters while we were writing them on our writing line. Let's look at the shape of our word and see how our word looks. Our lowercase letter F is a tall letter. And then we have a short letter O and a short letter R. Check that out. Our word for has a tall, short, short. That's the shape of our word. Very good. All right, let's get ready to, let's spell it out one more time together and then let's count how many letters are in our word for. Here we go. F-O-R. One, two, three. How many letters are in our word for? Awesome job, three letters, that's right. Okay, we've learned so much about our word for. We've listened to our one syllable and slowed down to stretch out our sounds. And we even learned about, what was this? Our bossy R that changes how our O makes it sound to get our word for, our F-O-R word for. I think, now that we've written it on our writing line, that we're ready to use it in a sentence. Let's see, what could we say with our word for? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Let's do this. This is for And let's see what I'm going to draw for you today. Look at that, we have a smiley heart. Not just
just a smiley face, a smiley heart. This is for you. Where was our for in that sentence? Did you see it? I'll read it one more time. You stop me when I get to the word for. Here we go. This is for. Hey, there's our word for. This is for you. And what else do you see in this sentence that is a little bit different than our other sentences? If you said our exclamation point, you're correct. We didn't end our sentence with a period. We ended it with an exclamation point. And do you remember what an exclamation point makes our sentence do? Very good. It makes it be excited. So let's try this again. Reading the sentence, paying attention to our exclamation point. Ready? This is for you. And look. There's our smiley face heart for you because you made my heart happy that you come and learn with me. Now, let's see. We have learned so much about our word for. Do you think you can help me find our word for over here? All right, let's see. I think we can do this. All right, is, is this a word for? No, that doesn't look like our word for it. Let's look at it a little bit closer and see why it's not our word for. It has how many letters? One, two. Our word for has how many letters? One, two, three. Three letters. Okay, not the right number of letters. Let's keep going. It has a tall letter and a short letter. That, I don't think that's the same shape of our word for, do you? Let's look. We have a tall letter, a short letter, a short letter. Okay, not the same shape as our word for. Now let's look at the letters to see what letters are in this word. T-O. Hmm. That is not the same letters as our word for that we spelled out earlier. Our word for is spelled F-O-R. It's not the right number of letters. It's not the right shape of word. It's not the right letters. That's because this is not our word for. This is our word too. Let's keep going and see if we can find our word for. Okay. What about this one? Yes, there is our word for. Let's look at it and make sure it's our word for. It has how many letters? One, two, three. Awesome, just like our word four that we studied over here. It has one, two, three. It has a tall letter and then a short letter and a short letter. Just like our word four, tall, short, short. And what letters are in this word? F-O-R, just like our word four, F-O-R. It's the right number of letters. It's the right shape of word. It's the right letters. That means that this is our word for. Very good. Awesome job. Thank you so much for coming and learning all about our sight words today and everything that we can learn about our word for. We learned that it is a one syllable word for and that when we slowed down to stretch out our sounds, we were able to hear our F or our F and our O-R because our R makes our O say a different sound. And once we were able to write it on our writing line, our tall letter F, our short letter O, and our short letter R, we were ready to use it in a sentence to say, this is for you because we use the exclamation point, right? Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.